This is a prayer for the dead, sung to the rhythm of Elvis's hips, but funded by Big Mama Thornton. That's why she died destitute. You gotta pay for the way people go. A funeral that goes down like good whiskey and burns away any hint of tears. I don't pour libation straight from the bottle. I prefer to vomit it up, drip it onto the ground, laced with spit and bile and regret as I kneel, sorry, <clears throat> as I kneel heaving. I can hear the beat of Big Mama calling through truth while shuffling through exposed entrails that I vomited onto the ground. This is a chant for the forgotten. Layered with schoolyard, schoolyard taunts and workplace slights, there is no peace and quiet in death. Mortality is raucous and loud. It rises and falls across ancient soundboards, pumping Billy's pain into our pleasure. That ache of loss that cracks open chests, spreads ribs, and exposes a shriveled, absent heart, cobbled together from rock gut, heroin needles, and coke sweat. Held together by a ring of duct tape. If you look closely, you'll see faint black remnants, maybe a name before ownership was disavowed. For you, I have wrapped my biceps in tubing and placed all manner of foreign objects under my tongue, made myself smoke and color and pills for the use of your descendants, so I can remember you by the marks they leave hawking my skin. This is the dance of souls and bones that our bodies recall. I often try them but find meat staining the ivory of my hips and thighs, awkward flesh trying to initiate, imitate graceful skeletons, mulled wine, Nina Simone voice, Luring bodies to attempt it, each pound of bare feet against overturned earth, bringing up more partners. Ground turns to mud as they turn up to join, and we slow groove to dusty Springfield, cutting flesh on the ribs and pelvises of our partners. Invitations go out, heavy as grief, weighed down with jade and myrrh, frankincense and fire, a thousand rituals from a thousand deaths to bring you to the only party you've ever needed. And when you stumble home years from now, still violently, vibrantly alive, eyes dark and missing, fingers trembling, you can point out marks. This is where you were scraped by death, where bone met skin, and despite a stronger will, epidermis parted and frayed. When your dance partner held you too close and ran raw fibula across calf, opening small rivulets of red, oh point God. to those spots of pain. This is how you know the living. This is a poem for death. What? What?